Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I hope you're all well. Uh, today's lesson is going to be on your target sign for this week for P2s, which is the sh sign. Now the sh sign is one of those signs that's made by two letters. It's made with an S and a H. Okay, so when we put those two together, they make one sign that makes the sh sign. It's nice and soft. Okay, so the first part of the lesson today, I'm going to share with you a story. And these, this story has lots of shh words in it. And Mrs. O'Reilly did this with the P3, so I thought it'd be a nice idea for you to do it with the P2s. So every time you hear the shh sound, I want you to touch your nose. Okay, so when you hear the shh sound, touch your nose. Okay, here we go. She and the shark were swimming through the sea. He was looking for his friend Sheila, the fashionable mermaid, but he could not find her anywhere. Are you hiding by the shore? He shouted, but there was no reply. Is that you in the shallow water? He called, but all Shane could see was jellyfish. I wish I could find you, sighed Shane in a hushed voice. Shane heard a strange sound. What's all that commotion? He thought. He swam closer and saw lots of crabs with a bubble machine. Would you like to play? said one of the crabs. Not today, thank you, replied Shane. And I'm on a mission to find Sheila. Okay, if you're sure. I'll send you an invitation to my bubble party, replied the largest crab. Thanks, see you soon, replied Shane. Just then, in a stream, he saw a strange ship. It looked suspiciously like a giant fish, but it was just the shadow of a passing ship. The water moved like a water shoot as the ship dashed past. As he swam quickly away, Shane saw something shimmering and glittering in the sand. He swam closer to get a good, better look. It was a group of shiny shells. Shane picked up a shell and then heard a splash. <gasps> It was Sheila. Where were you hiding? He shouted as Sheila dashed past him. I had to wash my hair, she giggled. I used lots and lots of shampoo. Look at all the shiny bubbles. As Sheila swished her hair, a shower of bubbles whooshed through the air and popped on Shane's sharp teeth. Shane and Sheila had lots of fun jumping and splashing in the sea. They shared some delicious seaweed Mash with sugar on top and a milkshake before Shane had to go home. See you tomorrow, he shouted as he swam by. I will show you the shipwreck and we might see some starfish too. So lots and lots of signs in that story. Can you remember any of them? We had ship and shells and we had shampoo and all of those words had SH at the beginning. But we also had fish and swish and those had sh at the end of the word because our sign this week sh can be found at the beginning or at the end okay so we're going to practice making some of those words and putting them on our board and we might actually make up some questions with our words because i know that in your packs this week you're also practicing using question marks so the first word we're going to put up on our board is one that was in our story uh, it's a big, big boat that you could find in the ocean, and it begins with a sh. The word is ship. Well done, ship. So let's think about what we need for ship. Sh. Our first sound is there. Two letters, one sound. Sh. Eh. Ship. So our vowel is the I. The if eh sound. Sh. Eh. And what's at the end of our word? Ship. Ship. The P. Here we go. So, ship. We've got ship. Now, we're going to make a, a question out of ship because, like I said, you've got question marks to practice this week. So, sometimes when we're writing, we need to put a question mark at the end instead of a full stop to tell somebody that it's a question we're asking. And that's how they realise how to read it. So, let's put ship into a sentence or into a question. Uh, we'll talk about... Uh, the ship leaving the dock. Has the ship left yet? 
we've got capital letter at the beginning of our sentence. As has the ship left, left yet. No. Normally, we would put a full stop at the end of our sentence, but because this is a question, we put a question mark. And the question mark looks like this. Okay? So, has the ship left yet? Has the ship left yet? Great. So, maybe with your spellings this week, instead of writing the sentences to practice them, you can write some questions too. Now, so that's one of the words with the sh at the beginning of the word. As we heard in our story, sometimes sh could be at the end of the words, okay? So one of the words that we're going to look at now is fish. Fish. We had fish in our story as well. Fish. So can you think carefully what our first sound is? Fish. It's an F, that's right. Okay. Fish. Fish. And our vowel is the same as we had in our ship. So I'm just going to move that over. And we have fish. Fish. Okay. And remember when you're doing your paper square clues, that sh needs to be on one piece of paper because although it's two letters, it makes just one sign. Okay. So sh and fish. Now you can do lots of different practices to make lots of different words. We have the sh sound. I know Mrs. O'Reilly talked about using a muffin tray and some bottle caps or some papers to help you make some different words. So let's change the first letter that we have in this word, fish. And can you think what letter we would need if we were going to change the word from fish to dish? Dish. Have you got it? Yeah, it's a D. Dish. dish. How about if we were going to change dish to wish? What would that be? Wish. So we need to change our first letter, D, to a w, 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 w. Good. W, -ish. wish. We'll change it back to dish. And this time I'm going to change the vowel, which is the sound our second letter in these words. So I'm going to change the vowel. And can you tell me which vowel I would need if I was going to change dish to dash? Like you might have to dash to the shop quickly to get some milk. Dash. What's the vowel in the second place? Yeah, it's a. Ah, that's right. A. Ah, this letter A. D A sh dash. Okay, so that's our sound for this week. Our sound is sh, which is made with two letters. It's made with the S and the H, and it makes that sh sound. See if you can practice writing some sh words yourself. Look at your spelling lists and see if you can sound your spellings out and do some activities that will help you practice them. Well done. I see you soon. Bye-bye.